another one. Hey vapors, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about the E-Leaf iStick Pico 25. <laughs> Alright guys, yes, today I am bringing you another installment to the iStick product line, the Pico 25. You can get this kit for around $50. I will leave a link below to where you can check it out. It does come in a variety of different colors and, oh, right on top we have a battery warning and a coil reference chart. And here is my Pico 25. It is a blue and white kit. It comes with the Hello tank and an extra glass piece right on top here that I see. This is the four mil extension because the Hello is two milliliters. Underneath the device we have all the goodies, spare o-rings and extra drip tips, an extra coil 0.3 ohm, it's canthal, this is the HW2 coil, a micro USB to USB cord, the Hello user's manual, and the iStick Pico 25 user's manual. So here is my kit, the Hello tank with a removable drip tip, but I do like this white matching drip tip. We have a battery cap right here because the battery goes down in here. It takes one single 18650 battery plus side down minus up. On the front we have the OLED screen, a fire button, a micro USB port. On the bottom we have battery venting holes as well as the regulatory button. Like I said earlier, the LO tank holds two mils. It does have two airflow slots at the bottom. It is a top fill. You slide in the direction of that little arrow. So you slide up and fill in there. I'm filling up my iStick Pico 25 with some confetti cake by the Dollar E Juice Club. The LO is pre-installed with the HW1 coil which is a 0.2 ohm stainless steel coil. The LO and the Pico separate right here. We have the 510 connection pin and the 510 connection contact. So the Pico 25 goes from 1 to 85 watts. And in wattage mode you can vape as low as 0.1 ohm up to 3.5 ohm. It also has bypass mode and temperature control mode as well as T TCR modes and in TC mode you can go as low as 0.05 to 1.5 ohm. In temperature control it's 200 degrees Fahrenheit to 600 degrees Fahrenheit. You can upgrade the firmware. So the Pico itself is 70 millimeters by 48 millimeters by 25 millimeters but with the Elo tank on top it's 104 millimeters. The Elo tank is 25 millimeters around. Again holds two mils but has that extension for four mils. Five clicks to the fire button turns it on. And it displays the working wattage, the working voltage, the amps, and the ohms, as well as the battery life. You can use the up and down buttons on the bottom to change the wattage. If you click the fire button three times, you will enter the mode selection menu. So you can switch between wattage and all the temperature modes and the bypass mode and the memory modes. If you press the plus and minus button at the same time, and then it's locked and you cannot adjust the wattage, but you can still fire it. Press and hold those buttons again to unlock. So this 0.2 ohm coil that's installed is good from 40 to 80 watts. I do have mine set at 60, which is right in the middle and still just a tad out of my comfort zone for vaping. I usually stay about 55 or lower, but let's give this a shot. Holy crap, that was way more powerful than I thought it was gonna be. I don't even think I personally need 60 watts. I'm gonna go down to 55 and try it there, because it was practically, it was like force feeding me vapor, wow. Clouds, bitch, wow, okay. I'm gonna go a little bit lower. I'm gonna go to 50, because even though it's like, it's producing such good clouds right now, um, it's a little bit warm, and if I could just make it a little bit cooler, with like, you know, a little bit less clouds, I know I'm gonna sacrifice less clouds, but I like a cool vape. Oh, oh my god, there's still more vape coming out. <laughs> okay guys, that was, wow, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. I did not think this little Pico was going to be like kicking out the vapor and I was only at 60 and I thought that was like more than enough. So anything higher I imagine is just gonna be like chucking clouds. Like... Wow, that's just, oh, I was not, honestly was not expecting I mean like I don't think I wasn't like overly impressed with the original Picos and whatnot but this one 
Wow, I, I mean, it's probably the Elo tank because I was never really a fan of the Mello or Milo, however you want to say this one. This one's E-L-L-O, so Elo, Elo tank. I like this Elo tank and these HW coils way better than the Milo or anything that, I, I was never a fan of the Milo, honestly. Just so much clouds, wow. And this is at only 50 watts. Dang. I'm just gonna go down, like I don't vape at 40, I don't vape that low, but I'm gonna go down to 40 because that's the lowest recommended for this coil. So we'll see how it performs at its lowest recommendation. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. That's 0.2 ohm at 40 watts, stainless steel, and it is, I'm, I'm impressed. I didn't think I was going to be, and you know what? It's definitely a plastic design, so it might not hold up in that aspect, but it's a lot lighter than the other iStick Picos that I have. I will leave a link below to this if you're interested in checking it out for yourself. If you have it, let me know in the comments below what you think of it. I'd love to hear from you guys, but that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more videos, and don't forget to turn on the bell notification symbol so you don't miss a single video. I do tend to upload daily. I know this last couple weeks have been a little bit off schedule, but we're getting back. Check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like eLiquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Snapchat. All those social media links will be below as well. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please join Casa.org and learn how you can fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia and thank you so much for watching.